Today, I'm going to be covering all of the new Battle Pass skins within Season 2. Not only are there ones related to the story and also the 7, but there's a ton of collaboration skins as well, and we're going to be covering them all here today. Now, speaking of which, if you are hyped for Season 2, leave a like on the video. I mean, come on. I am so excited for this season. But yes, guys, not only are we going to be talking about the collaborations and such, but there are things like emotes, a bunch of skins with different styles, and a ton more. But with that being said, if you guys are new around here be sure to subscribe since it only takes a second and also make sure you are using my supporter creator code sirs inside of the fortnite item shop and can't forget about the skin on last video it was the imperial stormtrooper so here's a ton of people that got that right and this time around let's go with this skin here so comment down below if you know the name of it and i'll leave hearts on a bunch of the ones that get that right now let's hop into it with the first skin i want to talk about within the new battle pass and we're going to start off here with the more basic skins and then later in the video we'll get into the crazier and crazier stuff like the Marvel collab and also Star Wars collab which there's a ton of brand new info about it's not about Darth Vader this time there's a ton of other stuff but yeah this first skin we don't know the name of it but this is what it looks like it's this really cool looking I don't even know how you'd explain it mech ninja type skin it even kind of looks like a prisoner because her arms are bound together in front and then her actual arms that you'd use for the skin are these floating mechanical ones on the side which is pretty interesting because according to Hypex he said that now that Leela was introduced we can expect to see this skin in season 2 and Leela is the one that released recently that has that similar sort of style where her actual arms aren't the arms of the skin for that one it uses like the stuffed animal arms and is super unique but on top of this there's also a second style that's pretty cool and considering that it has two styles you guys know the battle pass and how they have skins with lots of different variants so this could be the first unlockable skin but keeping it going here guys another skin that has well been in the files for quite a while is actually gunner that's right the boss at covert cavern is going to be a skin that we can unlock according to various sources first of all and i've talked about this a little bit before so i won't spend too much time on it he has a ton of different styles within the files that rhymed <laughs> but yeah he's got this snow variant he's got the orange and maroon variant which is pretty cool also also changes his hair color and then the final one is like this light up variant where he even has green hair and like neon lights along his armor which again seems perfect for a battle pass skin not only that we've seen in game that he has a back bling which is pretty decent nothing too crazy but again confirms that we're going to be getting him as an actual skin very soon oh and on top of that fire monkey mentioned that he also has a masked variant which again goes with the idea of different styles but then after that guys let's start to talk a bit of about the Marvel collab because this is really intriguing. It also even has to do a bit with the sisters who are a part of the seven, the ones that were mentioned way back when, when the foundation was talking to Agent Jones during the last chapter. But starting it out here, it was recently announced that there's going to be a new comic series between Fortnite and Marvel. It is called the Zero War series. And as you can see, this is the cover of it. And it shows a lot of interesting stuff. Not only is Spider- Spider-Man in the very center with Wolverine to the side of him, but we can even see a sort of style of Agent Jones. Like it doesn't really look like Jonesy, but you can definitely tell that it's him considering that he's got the same like prisoner suit that we saw inside of the trailer for chapter three. But guys, the other two characters are what is most interesting about this. Like, first of all, let's talk about the character on the top left. That character goes by the name of Shuri, who you probably know is from the Black Panther series and is expected to be in this next battle pass especially if it does have a marvel theme over the star wars theme that we're going to be talking about soon we could even see like her gauntlet type items as either a pickaxe that would honestly be pretty cool in and of itself a dual wielded pickaxe based around those or some sort of mythic item although hold on now that i'm thinking about it she also has this spear that she's often seen with that would honestly be perfect for a pickaxe like yeah they could literally just take that and add it into the game and there you go the perfect item both of those would be incredible and she would honestly fit perfectly inside of Fortnite. but on top of that the character that's maybe the most interesting of all because she's kind of a mystery is this character right here at first i thought it was a marvel character but it's not the current idea that is going around is that this is actually one of the sisters and again when i say sisters i'm talking about one of the members of the seven that we haven't seen before if you go down to sanctuary you see seven stones referencing the seven and two of them together are referencing the sister 
characters, this character seems to be one of those. And considering that she's right next to Jonesy, her armor is kind of similar to the other members of the Seven. It would honestly make a lot of sense. In fact, wait a second, guys. I just remembered something. I thought this character looked familiar. So I went back and took a look at some of the survey skins, or basically the official concepts for Fortnite skins. And this character shows up there as well. That's right, guys. But check this out. That's not even the best part. If you look through those skins even more, you'll notice that there's a very similar counterpart that has the same exact armor, which has got to be the other sister. Yes, so this is pretty much confirmed to be both of the sisters within Fortnite. And take a closer look at this skin right here. She has pretty much the same exact armor and outfit, just a different color, and of course a different hairstyle and stuff like that. But the fact that it is the exact same means that she is in fact one of the sisters. So yes, we're very likely going to see that in the next battle pass. But keeping it going here with some of the other skins, still got the stuff with Star Wars to talk about as well, it's possible we could see another skin from the Spider-Man universe. Recently, it was actually leaked a skin that's already in the files, which is Mary Jane. You know, Spider-Man's love interest within the series. Her character was just recently found, and you can see it's not like the craziest skin. She's just wearing a normal outfit with a Spider-Man symbol on the t-shirt inside of a heart, which is pretty funny. But yeah, could we see this in the battle pass, or maybe is it an item shop skin? Personally, I think it's probably an item shop skin, but I still thought I'd throw it out there just in case, because similarly, we're still waiting to see if there's other X-Men skins coming into the game alongside Rogue and Gambit, which we saw recently. But like, for example, we could see the guy that shoots lasers out of his eyes. You gotta admit, that one would be pretty cool. But again, considering we already have Wolverine, we have Rogue and Gambit, Mystique from way back when, it's pretty likely we're gonna see more X-Men skins. In fact, another one that has been rumored is Beast, a guy that can, well, turn into a beast. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised this one hasn't been in the game yet. It seems like one Fortnite would add, but again, it looks perfect for season two. But then guys, let's talk about the brand new info we have related to the Star Wars collab within season two. This stuff is crazy. And again, we already talked about Darth Vader in my previous video. Definitely check that out if you haven't yet. This is other stuff that you gotta see. So first things first, if we head over to Donald Mustard's Twitter, you know the guy who's like the main person behind like Fortnite stories, skins, all of that stuff. He's always given out hints towards what's going to be in the future seasons. And just recently, he posted some pictures of Star Wars Legos. I'm not sure what the first picture is, but the second one is definitely, well, an at, -AT from the Star Wars universe. So obviously this is a huge hint towards the return of Star Wars in the near future. On top of that, it's been leaked that the lightsabers in the game have been updated. So all things are pointing towards us getting this collab in season two. Not only that, there was a brand new emote found within the files that is themed around the Mandalorian. Like for example, Sheena BR had said an emote from the Mandalorian is currently encrypted. Epic only encrypted the English sound though and not other languages. In the emote, Mando says, this is the way, which you know is sort of like a catchphrase from the show, but I'm not exactly sure what the actual emote would be. I looked into it a bit and I couldn't find any specific things that he does when he says that, so it could literally be anything. Still though, it hints towards more Star Wars stuff releasing soon. And if they keep with the theme of Mandalorian, one skin that has been talked about a lot is Luke Skywalker. He's one of the main characters inside of that show that we haven't seen release in Fortnite yet. Especially since Boba Fett released for the Book of Boba Fett, where Luke Skywalker also showed up. So could he be the level 100 collaboration skin that we see in this battle pass? Most battle passes we've had recently have a collaboration skin. We had Spider-Man this season. I mean, we've literally had the Mandalorian as one of the special collaboration skins way back in chapter two. So obviously we're gonna get something like that and Luke Skywalker would fit that role perfectly. Another rumored one was Darth Maul, which would honestly be amazing, <laughs> especially if we got his dual lightsaber is like a pickaxe. Now that they've got that spear type animation for certain pickaxes, they could finally add it and it would be super cool. Oh, and that also reminds me, if there's more stuff themed around Mandalorian, we could see the dark saber as a pickaxe as well, or maybe just a mythic item on the map. Like, come on. I would love to see the return of new Star Wars items, especially if they're updating the lightsabers. Like, please, Fortnite, let's make that happen. But moving on here, guys, and loading up Fortnite, check out something that I just got here. Logging in, it should pop up. Yes, there we go. Just got the brand new item. Go ahead and close this. And there you go, the brand new spray, which is themed around Doctor Who. 
Yes, the Doctor Who series, the TV series, and all of that stuff. This is pretty much the announcement of an official collaboration with that. So we just got this brand new spray, but there's even more to this. If we hop into the game and specifically go into creative, we can then go over to like one of these right here and enter this code, which brings us to the special Doctor Who creative map. So here we are. Wait, what is this message right here? I'll go ahead and accept that. I'm not even sure what's happening right now, but yeah, check that out right there. It's an official collab. No no doubt. So that means that more Doctor Who stuff has got to be right around the corner. Could they be hinting at more stuff coming out in season two? I definitely think it's possible, but like, what's this over in this area? Looks like we got to do a little bit of parkour by jumping on this right here, then this. Now what do we do when we're up here? I'm honestly not sure, but like, could this dude be a skin? I'm not really up to date with Doctor Who, but it kind of looks like this dude could be a skin inside of the battle pass. That would be awesome. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did be sure to subscribe for more fun videos coming up super soon and also check out some of my previous videos on the screen right now but again i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one